So, um, first of all, I'd like to start out by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem, Yahushai by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honor, so teach yourselves in the boss of great millstone. Likewise, brothers, so they're putting on the truth, faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep. And to you, brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom. Today's lesson titled Fall by the Sword. Now, we're going to go into this little article that I saw uh, online from uh, military.com. Actually, it's from Army Times. And a brother had actually had done a little video on it uh, late last night. Um, I just thought it was interesting, you know. So, having serve you know in this man um little military um i thought i'd just go into it because a lot of jakes are still trapped inside this man's little monkey show you know known as the united states military which right now they're gearing up uh to go and do a lot of horrible things over there in the middle east okay but we know that yahabai shimashia is the one that actually is bringing this all together let's Look at this article here. It says, Army apologizes for sending soldiers last minute recruiting orders. So what they did was they sent out an email to, I think, somewhere around eight, 900 of these service members, you know, who are known as non-commissioned officers or NCOs, uh, that they have to go and become recruiters, okay, because they have a shortfall of the amount of uh, service members that they require, okay, year, year on year. And right now they're gearing up to go overseas, Okay, for a conflict against, you know, uh, what they, they, they term as Hamas, but in reality, they're going over there for Iran and Syria. And there's a substantial amount of service members that, are, that have been deployed uh, under the radar as we speak right now. Okay, so they're building up the same way they, they were building up, okay, for the war with Afghanistan and Iraq. Okay, let's start with our first scripture. This is the book of Proverbs 16 and Psalm 4. It says, The Lord, Yahabashim Hashai, had made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. And who is the wicked? The so-called white man, Esau, the Edomite. Okay, in particular, these Amalekites. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord, Yahabashim Hashai. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, man shall apart from evil, which is what we are as a hopefully elect, okay? The fear of Yahweh Shema Shai has made us depart from the wickedness of this place, great Babylon, America. And it says, when a man's ways please the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. So this is one of those, uh, basically one of those gifts that the Lord uh, in part, okay, on the men and women and the children that he finds favorable in his sight, okay, because there's a certain way that we have to conduct ourselves. Now, you have a lot of Jake right now, they're, they're stuck, okay, in Esau's military, okay, and we can see here, like what this man, Henry Kissinger said, military men are just dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns in foreign policy, Henry Kissinger, okay? These are, this this man, this man here, uh, okay, this is this is when he's small hats, okay, when he's kikes. Okay, and this is these are the people that are ruling the earth in utter wickedness. Okay, these are the ones that are shock callers across the earth. Okay, with these wars, these proxies war, you know, embargoes on nations. Okay, these are the ones that have had their their feet all around the necks or on the top of the necks of the Hebrew, the true biblical Hebrew Israelite, right? which is the so called blasphemy Americans and Latino. And you have Jake that are trapped, okay, thinking that at some point in time, you know, they're going to get out and retire with a good retirement, with a good retirement pay. And it's like, no, you are going to fall by the sword. This is the book of Isaiah 13 and verse 15. It says, everyone that is found shall be trust true and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Who, who, who are you going to be joined unto? Okay. The wicked. Okay. There's a day set that the Lord has, okay, for Esau to perish. And in particular, okay, the queendom of, of, of Babylon, America, okay, who is known as uh, uh, Babylon the Great, okay? When we go into the book of Jeremiah 25 and Cyrus 20, 31, it says, A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord, Yahweh had a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, said the Lord, Yahweh So the Lord, Yahweh okay, is going to have these nations come up together, and in particular, a lot of these nations, these, these conglomerate nations are going to come together under russia okay the Medes, okay against great Babylon on america and great Babylon america is not going to have any allies these allies are not going to stand with america like how they have done before because they hate the whore okay why because a whore creates problems okay the whore wants to flaunt okay her dirty ass around okay and causes all these other nations okay to perish as a result okay so the lord is going to be bringing that judgment against great Babylon on america right now you see them you know they're quoting scriptures, you know, they're trying to fight and, and fight and, and, and 
you know, in, in, in words they're using such as, you know, the other nation is, is uh, uh, the, the um, Edomites, okay? You know, the other nations are Amalek and they are, they are the righteous, you know, the true, the true biblical uh, Hebrew Israelites and all this, all this, all this stuff they're doing. But you see Jake is in the mix of this because Jake, what Jake thought was a job in reality, okay, is his demise, okay? It says, thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemeshah, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation and a great whirlwind should be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord, Yahabash Mashah, shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They should be dung upon the ground. So we're talking about a significant amount of death that's coming. Every one of these doggone service members that is going over there, okay, are going to perish. Now, you look at that picture again. It says, Army apologize for sending soldiers last minute recruiting orders the fat the fatty that's standing there looking at these two recruiters okay that's a in in the in the in the uh under the uh, caption there says a potential okay recruit okay so only the desperate okay is going to sign up willingly for this okay they're gonna have to implement the draft because any in their, anyone in their right mind is not gonna put on that damn monkey suit that they call uh uniform or or or, or, or bdus or, or acus okay and go over there to get put to death by the sword okay this nation is not a righteous nation this is a criminal okay organization that these doggone amalekites sit down on, on the ground okay following their nutsack with some little two-year-old baby okay is using these men i say as, as, as one of them say okay the service members are dumb dogs trump came out and said himself that military uh, uh service members are stupid okay when are you gonna get through your doggone head Okay, but a lot of Jake's them are trapped. They even offering okay bonuses and sign on bonuses and all that stuff, accelerated okay promotion, all that stuff, and also they're doing away with a lot of the guidelines and a lot of the standards that they had in place there, such as height and weight and all these other things. So that tells you okay, this is this nation. They already know that this is the end. Okay, East already know that this is the end. That's why they'll take any shit desperate enough and stupid enough to sign the hell up. I mean, come on, seriously. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 13. Psalm verse 4 it says, Thou be, be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee. He will make thee bare and will not be sorry for thee. If he have need of thee, he will receive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, What one is thou? And it's always about money. Okay, taxpayers' money. Okay. Uh, used to give these bonuses. Now, there's a, there's always a you, these these service members don't read the fine print with these bonuses. Okay, if you these bonuses when you accept those, okay, it causes you to have to extend, you know, from what would have been a, a three year contract now to a six year contract. Okay, and if you leave, try to leave before that, they would actually go and recoup that bonus back from you. Okay, this is how it's done. Okay, the VA, okay, or the Department of Veterans Affairs is is a scam. It's a joke. It's not free. They don't heal. They don't. They don't. The doctors there are butchers okay i i've personally walked in there myself uh, many many years ago and seen okay veterans just laying out out in the hallway okay butt naked okay there's no service to them okay even a little bit of service that they do because they give them give them a lot of drugs and medication okay they charge them for it so there is no benefit jake okay there is no benefit there's there's no benefit other than the fact that this, these people will ruin your health, ruin your body, and ruin your life, okay? And this is what they're doing right now. This is the last hurrah. This man is desperate. There's no need for them to be over there doing what they're doing. But the Lord has them over there, okay? Because this is how the Lord is going to be judging Esau. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Now we trust our enemy for us like I and Russet. So it's his wickedness. You can't trust this man. This man has stated in his heart, pursuing the Genesis 27 to 41, uh, that's, uh, at some point in time, He's going to come after the entire tribe of Israel, Yashrallah, so-called Black Americans, Latino. It's certainly sell us, not those kikes sitting over there in, the, in, in what they call the Holy Land, which that place is not the Holy Land. It's the unholy land, the land of Sodomites and sickness and perverseness. Okay, yeah, I said it. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah 30 and starting with verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me, and are covered with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk down to Egypt, which is places known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt, and have not asked in my mouth. You see the prophets out there, you don't even come and look at the sign, you don't come and find out exactly what your heritage is all about, or what we're even talking about, nor do you care. You don't, you, you'd rather be entertained by TikTok. Well, anyways, 2024, January 2024, TikTok is going to be banned in America, so maybe this truth will clearly get to some of uh, the hopefully lack 
life that's out there that's still wandering around in this world. And it says, to strengthen himself in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. This place is a land of confusion. Okay, this is a place that calls women men and men women. Okay, little boys become girls and little girls become boys. I mean, this place is a sicko, demented, evil, wicked place. And the Lord is going to destroy this place in the most horrible fashion. Okay, and we already know Esau, Edomite, and all the uh, three-letter freaking organization out there. We know you track us, you listen to us. And you plan on coming after us, make your fucking doggone move. The Lord has something for you motherfuckers. And that's just all there is to it, okay? This place is just sick, okay? This is the book of Joel 3. It's down where 12 said, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the valley of decision. For there will I sit and judge all the heathen round about. All of you nations will have no choice. That's why you see uh, Yemen is getting into it. Turkey, they're getting into it. Hey, it's a, hey, it's about to be a royal rumble over there. And we're going to sit right back and we're going to watch it. We're going to watch the slaughter fest because this is all the Lord's doing this. And it says, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down for the press is full. The fats overflow for the wickedness is great. We, we sigh and cry every day because, I mean... It, this is this takes a lot of patience, okay? The patience to sit amongst this wickedness, this this, this sick, demented place. The the earth is defiled by this dog on man, okay? And when I say man, it's not an individual man. It's this 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 these Edomites, okay? The sick, psychotic, vile abomination. But the Lord has set them up for a reason. Why? Esau, you had to get your blessing, and it is the sword. And so you have you are doing you are doing the work that the Lord has set you up to do. Okay? And it says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord Yahweh Shai is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon should be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Man, those nukes is gonna be going off. We are going to see first hand what a tactical nuke explosion looks like what a hydrogen bomb or what an atomic bomb looks like live on television. That is going to be beautiful. Okay, no more of that replay of what they did to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's going to be the real deal. Okay, the Lord, the Habash shall also so roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord, the Habash Shai, will be the hope of his people, the one third hope for the lack of Yashralo and the strength of the children of Israel. Eventually, the two thirds will be, be reborn, okay? And we will rule in righteousness, okay, in the coming heavenly kingdom here on this earth. And these wicked nations, these heathen nations, you're going into slavery, starting with Amalek. Lord willing, the awful elect was edified. I will close it by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, by Shema Shai, by Shemur Kakadash. Double on to teach us, and the apostle of great most likewise, brothers, that they put into the true faith and fantasy, feeding sheep, and to you, brothers and sisters, tuning in. Shalom.